Hello everyone, I am Dr. N. Sandeep Madhaswamy, Associate Professor of Computer Science Engineering. Great pleasure for me to welcome you all for this session. In this session, topic to be covered is Inter Cloud Resource Management Part 2 for Unit 3 Cloud Platforms Architecture. At the end of Unit 3, the students will be able to explain the design principles, architecture and enabling technologies of cloud platform. At the end of this session, the students will be able to understand virtual machine creation and management and global exchange of cloud resources under the inter-cloud resource management. In this session, we will discuss under virtual machine creation and management. We will see about independent service management, running third-party applications, virtual machine manager, virtual machine templates, distributed VM management, and we will discuss global exchange of cloud resources. Now we will see about virtual machine creation and management. We will consider several issues for cloud infrastructure management. First, we will consider the resource management of independent service jobs. Then we will consider how to execute third-party cloud applications. Cloud loading experiments are used by Melphone Research Group on the French Grid 5000 system. This experimental setting illustrates VM creation and management. This case study example reveals major VM management issues and suggests some plausible solutions for workload balanced execution. This diagram shows the interaction among VM managers for cloud creations and management. The managers provide a public API for users to submit and control the VMs. Now we will see about independent service management. Independent service request facilities to execute many unrelated tasks. Commonly, the APIs provided are some web services that the developer can use conveniently. In Amazon Cloud Computing Infrastructure, SQS is constructed for providing reliable communication service between different providers. Even the endpoint does not run while another entity has posted a message in SQS. By using independent service providers, the cloud application can run different services at the same time. Some other services are used for providing data other than computer storage services. Now we will see about running third-party applications. Cloud platforms have to provide support for building applications that are constructed by third-party application providers or programmers. As current web applications are often provided by Web 2.0 forms, that is interactive applications with Ajax, the programming interface are different from traditional programming interfaces such as functions in runtime libraries. The APIs are often in the form of services. Web service application engines are often used by programmers for building applications. The web process are the user interface for end users. Now we will see about virtual machine manager. The VM manager is the link between gateway and resources. The gateway doesn't share physical resources directly, but relies on virtualization technology for abstracting them. Hence, the actual resources it uses are VMs. The manager manages VMs deployed on a set of physical resources. The VM manager implementation is generic so that it can connect with different VIEs. Typically, VIEs can create and stop VMs on a physical cluster. The Melphone group has developed managers for Open Nebula, Amazon EC2, and French Grid 5000. The manager using the Open Nebula OS to deploy VMs on local cluster. Now we will see about virtual machine templates. A VM template is analogous to a computer's configuration and contains a description of a VM with the following static information. The number of cores or processes to be assigned to the VM. The amount of memory the VM requires. The kernel used to boot the VM operating system. The disk image containing VM's file system. The price per hour of using VM. 
Now we will see about distributed VM management. This diagram illustrates the interaction between integrated components. A distributed VM manager makes requests for VMs and queries their status. This manager requests VMs from the gateway on behalf of user application. The manager obtains a list of requested VMs from gateway. This list contains a tuple of public IP, private IP addresses for each VM with SQL tunnel. Users must specify which VM template they want to use and number of VM instances needed, deadline, the wall time and address for an alternative headway. The local gateway tries to obtain resources from underlying VAEs. When this is impossible, the local gateway starts a negotiation with any remote gateways to fulfill the request. When a gateway settles the VMs, it sends the VM access information to the requester gateway. Finally, the manager configures the VM, set up SSH tunnels and execute the task on the VM. Under peering the policy, each gateway scheduler uses the conservative backfilling to schedule requests. When the scheduler cannot start the request immediately using the local resources, a redirection algorithm will be initiated. Now we will see about global exchange of cloud resources in order to support a large number of application service consumers from around the world. Cloud infrastructure providers that is infrastructure as a service provider have established data centers in multiple geographical locations to provide redundancy and ensure reliability in case of site failures. For example, Amazon has data centers in the United States Example, one on the east coast and another on the west coast and Europe. However, the currently Amazon expects its cloud customers, that is software as a service providers, to express a preference recording where they want their application services to be costed. Amazon does not provide seamless automatic mechanisms for scaling its costed services across multiple geographically distributed data centers. This approach has many shortcomings. First, it is difficult for cloud customers to determine in advance the best location for hosting their services as they may not know the origin of consumers of their services. Second, software service providers may not be able to meet quality of service expectations of their service consumers originating from multiple geographical locations. This necessitates building mechanisms for seamless federation of data centers of a cloud provider or providers supporting dynamic scaling of application across multiple domains in order to meet QoS targets of cloud customers. This diagram shows the high level components of the Melphone group proposed inter-cloud architecture the cloud exchange acts as the market maker for bringing together service producers and consumers. It aggregates the infrastructure demands from application brokers and evaluates them against the available supply currently published by cloud connectors. It supports the trading of cloud services based on the competitive economic models such as commodity markets and action. Cloud exchange allows the participants to locate providers and consumers with fitting offers. The summary of this session, we learned virtual machine creation and management and global exchange of cloud resources under inter-cloud resource management. I hope you found this lecture is more useful. Thank you and have a pleasant day.